What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about Fearless Finisher Batch. Try to watch the whole video so it'll make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway and after watching, please let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. So now, let's get right into it. So after checking lots of clips and testings, here are the things that I found out. First one for the activation, I think it's pretty much straightforward. It will activate on contact lips, just like what I'm showing you on the screen. It's not going to activate on soft contacts though, because there are some contact lips that doesn't have much force to it. It must be this type of contacts, like to the extent that the shot will be really changed. Now, there is a mystery on the activation. As far as I remember, on the earlier seasons, I see it activate sometimes on dunks on blacktop. But for some reasons, I tried it a lot of times here, and it's not activating anymore. So please let me know in the comment section if you ever activate it recently. I'm not talking about earlier seasons like season 1, season 2. I'm talking about somewhere this season 7. So please let me know, but try to be careful. Make sure it is kinda recent, and you're sure that you see the badge activated on dunks. Next one, another intriguing part of the badge, it reduces challenge percentage, which I think not much people know about. And here, on that exact layup animation, no badge shows around 29% and Hall of Fame shows around 18%. At first, I thought that maybe the positioning is just not the same, but after trying a lot of times, Hall of Fame always shows 18% and no badge always shows 29% on that exact animation. And just to make sure, I tried other upgrades and bronze shows around 24%, silver is around 22%, and gold is around 20%. And all of them are between no badge and hall of fame. So that really justified that your fearless finisher badge will reduce your contact close shots challenge percentage. And before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far. And if you think that this channel deserves 100k subs, would be really awesome if you guys can subscribe to make this silver play button reel. I'll give you guys some moments. So now going back, another use of the badge is to reduce the stamina used on those shots. This one, to be honest, I would not really factor this in so much on my decision on should I equip the badge or not or which upgrade should I equip because I'm pretty sure that the boost there is not really much anyway. Let's be honest, on every park game or rec, how many of those shots will you take? So whatever stamina you save on that one will be really small anyway. Again, I know it will help your player, I'm just trying to say that don't be like, oh, I'm gonna get this badge because I want to save stamina. So don't factor that in that much because I assume the boost will be just minimal. It's just a bonus function of the badge. The major function of the badge is to make more contact layups. Even on dunking boost, if ever it is activating on dunk still, I don't think it will matter much because you got a lot of badges that are specialized on dunking already. You got posterizer, rise up, slittery, put back boss, fast twitch, and all of your ratings. So I don't think a badge that is intended really for layups will make a real difference. Again, I'm not saying that it won't help you, I'm just saying that the boost will be so small, so don't think about it that much. So now for the sweet spot, knowing that it reduces your challenge percentage, we'll use that as a metric because we all know the better challenge you have, the better makes you get. So I took a lot of shots and take note of the challenge percentage and get the average. And now for the results, there is an obvious sweet spot on bronze. It is a good news because of all badge upgrades, the best upgrade to be a sweet spot will be always bronze. Meaning just one upgrade and you can benefit a lot from it. I assume that graph there will translate into your make percentage as well. And you can push it to hall of fame as you please, I mean, you will still have a good boost. And now for the recommendation, knowing that you have a sweet spot on bronze, if you're a slasher or a big man or anyone who will take at least 1-2 to two inside shots a game, I think it deserves at least bronze. And if you really take a lot of inside shots, because this badge here is like a fail safe because dunk attempts can sometimes lead into contact layups, which activates the badge, you can put more, especially knowing that you will get a decent boost even up to Hall of Fame. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.